thanks for joining me today on another episode of MVP Cooking. Today we are making banana bread and right here is all the ingredients you need which are three ripe bananas and a bowl and a fork to mash them with, two eggs, one cup of sugar, two cups of flour, and also in my flour I have my um, one teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of salt. A half a cup of butter and you can add nuts if you want to but I don't like nuts so I don't add nuts. You need a mixing bowl, two loaf pans, some Crisco to grease the pans and some extra flour and an electric mixer. <coughs> You want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Okay, now like any good cake, you start off with your butter and your sugar. And you mix those together first. And there you have it. Um, the consistency of this part is going to depend on the consistency of your butter when you put it in when you mix them. But what you're looking for is you want to make sure that it's pale compared to when you start it. And my light is yellow, so it looks more yellow than it is. But the it'll be it'll actually be pale yellow when you finish beating it. Okay, now you want to mash up your bananas. Okay, the first thing about banana bread you need to know is that you want to use ripe bananas, overripe bananas. Now, these ones I had sitting out uh, for maybe a week or so, so they're soft, but you can actually go riper than this um, to where they're brown. Um, See how it's nice and soft? You can go, yeah, you can go riper than this. But make sure that they're not rotten. And you know how you got the fruit flies all over the place? You don't want that, but you want overripe bananas because that makes the sweetest um, banana bread. And the easier to mash. And you're just gonna take the fork and just mash them up. See how easy that is? That's all it takes. Just mash them right up. And you will notice in the um, recipe I don't use any um, any cream or milk or anything like that because see you got nice moist bananas here. This is your this is your liquid for the cake. That's why you want them nice and sweet and bright. See that? Just mush them up. Now we get this back on the scene and we're going to add our two eggs. If you want to be technical, you can add one egg at a time. Just until all the yolks disappear and then you add the other one. And if you have it in a bowl, you just pour one yolk in at a time. Then you're going to add, you can add in your bananas. Mmm. Looks like baby food. Now before I get to adding the dry ingredients, I give my bowl edges a quick scrape. Make sure I got everything mixed in because you want to add the ingredients in order how they're supposed to because there's a reason why. And that is that they don't combine the same way, same way um, if you do it the wrong order. Some things are like that, some things aren't. Cake is like that. You have to follow the order of adding adding the ingredients in. Now if you watch my blueberry recipe, um, you would notice that I just put everything in together one time because it doesn't matter with pancakes. So some things it matters, some things it don't. Now before I add this, you just give it a stir some recipes will say, oh, well, you have to put or mix them in a separate bowl and whisk. No, you don't have to whisk. 
you just have to make sure that the baking soda is mixed in with the flour. Now I like to add my flour in a little bit at a time because if you add it in all one time it can dry out your batter. And also you can double this recipe. If you were wondering because not all recipes you can double. And also a tip like I was saying before with the ripe bananas if you have overripe bananas and you don't want to throw them away or waste them banana bread that what you gonna do with them okay so this is the finished mix mmm look at that that looks yummy smells yummy too Ooh, I can't wait to have my banana bread okay so here I have my baking floured baking sheet if you want to see how I do this I will link it um, I have a tutorial and here's my mix you want to fill the pans no more than three quarters of the way then you just want to spread those out so that they're even then you're going to put them in the oven for about half an hour to 40 minutes and usually I have my two racks in um, so you switch them halfway but anyway I don't feel like doing that right now okay guys so here's the finished product of my banana bread and um, I'm just gonna let it stand for about 10 to 20 minutes uh, before I take it out of the pan you want it to be completely cool before you take it out of the pan or it'll fall apart before I take it out I just you just take the knife and go around the edges like that and just pop it out on the plate so stay tuned for a taste test this is Moki's banana bread that she made and I'm gonna test taste it right Mm. Tastes like banana bread. Really good banana bread. Sweet banana bread mixture, kind of like. And also, it's moist, not dry, and really good. I really like it. Thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And give us a thumbs up for watching Moki's banana bread video. And see you next time.